Hello Guardians and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We're going to do a review for Mauxer Shadow Ka. So we have here the um, kind of the description of her every skill. But take note that this is not the complete skill. We don't know yet on how damage these skills will deal. But we do have an overview of what we're going to be doing. So let's start off with... Um, her skill type, so skill type is going to be Chaos Damage. Definitely her gun will be of Chaos Damage as well. We're going to be previewing that as we get more information on her gun. Let's start off with her standard skill. So Mauks here deploys Kabichet. So it's like a it's like a avatar uh, or a shadow kind of. Sacrifice and throws it toward the target upon exploding. Uh, exploding upon hit and dealing chaos damage. This damage is counted as auxiliary unit damage. So take note of that. We, this is actually confirmed for the first time again for the skill that they mentioned. This is the first time that they mentioned auxiliary unit damage. So we can actually look for uh, logistics we're in. It's going to be geared towards auxiliary unit damage and is not affected by Moxir's attribute buffs. Okay, so hold... hold to charge an attack with Kabachet and spin, knocking back nearby targets. Okay, so my concern with the charge mechanism is that um, how long is this charge? Uh, because sometimes the longer you charge, um, units tend to move away from your, um, you know, from your uh, directed uh, direction or where you're facing at. They might go to the right or go to the left so this charge should be movable while you're charging this skill again so that is my only concern because again sometimes it um, targets move and after you release the charge you might not be able to hit them okay so we will go to uh, knocking back nearby targets so there's a knockback charge consume stamina this is weird because this is going to be consuming stamina. How much stamina? We don't know yet. After charging. Max Maxir throws Kabachet at the target. Sucking in other targets in its path. So this is similar to 5 star Frisha's. Um, what do you call this? Uh, standard skill as well. So they're going to be compared eventually. But let's see how this one differs. So, sucking it in its path and exploding upon hitting the main target. Knocking up targets and dealing chaos damage. So, um, there's a bit of a mechanic change and also similarity with 5-star Frisha's um, standard skill. While char when charging, Cab Cabbage Shed will enter the Earth Ritual and Heaven Ritual phases. And movement distance increases and explosion damage increases. Okay, so move it distance increases uh, in terms of uh, you throwing it and explosion damage increases as well. So again, just to recap, this, the, the standard skill is um, affected by logistics which have auxiliary unit buffs. Um, holding it to charge will, go, will be kind of be tricky for me, I think, first glance, but we'll have to see once the skill comes out. So also, I'm not sure why they're going to be uh, consuming stamina for this. And also, this skill is similar to standard skill of 5-star Freesia. So again, for me, standard skill is going to be dependent on if how much damage this deals, what are the mechanics involved once we really get our hands on the skill. Okay, moving on to support skill. So, Vein Squeezing Bind. By the way, the standard skill is Dance of the Undead. So, support skill, Vein Squeezing Bind. Mauxer makes Cabochet wrap continuously bind itself tight around a target, which is your main shooter because this is actually a support skill, using bandages to tie the main target and several sub-targets together. This is weird. Sub targets together. While bound deals chaos damage to all targets every second, this damage is counted as damage dealt by Mauxir. So after the main target is defeated, Cabochet will disappear. So after you defeat your main target, which is, I assume, the biggest target or only one target, 
Kabacha transfers certain damage it takes to the main target. Okay. So after the main target is defeated. This is weird. We, we, we do need to see the whole skill, the, the, the whole text of the, the original skill once we get this. So um, while bound, Kabacha is counted as a main target and not Moxers or auxiliary unit. And this is weird as well. The damage transferred is not counted as skill damage and is not affected by any damage bonuses at tributes attribute buffs. Okay, just want to summarize this. This is kind of difficult to understand, but once again, we can test this out. We will definitely know how this is going to be, you know, how this is going to be worth it. So, um, basically, this this is summarize the support skill. Deal that deals damage to all targets um, um, that are in range um, because the, the the armor itself has dealing damage to all targets. We're not sure how far this goes or is this within just proximity. And also um, the damage absorption and all or also damage reduction. We're not sure, but those are the two types of uh, mechanics that are built into her support skill and the last one is her ultimate skill cyclical collapse so mox here transforms into a guide and stretches out soul guard bandage to knock up the target in front dealing chaos damage and slowing the target she also creates a shadow temple that collapses after a short duration dealing chaos damage to targets within range Okay, so this one is very standard. It has damage and slow. Um, the damage for this should be significant though, because this is your ultimate skill. But again, um, there are a lot of questions in her skill in this uh, short texts of your of her skill. Again, she's for me. If we are to bring her, she's going to be bra She should outplay most of the submachine you know you know if, if we're gonna compare her to wild hunt she should be able to be significantly at par probably with wild hunt for for us to use her and we don't know yet on the submachine gun on how the mechanics for the gun is but for the skill guys however at this point i'm gonna hold judgment up until we have her up until we test her and up until we really you know um try out how she works when she plays in the battlefield right now my question is more on the how much damage this these skills are going to be dealing um again we do have a lot of uh, operatives right now so will she be you know will she match your team builds will you eventually need her um again for me the kicker would be the skills if we the skills are very has a big damage and it's going to be a useful mechanic for us to synergize with our existing teams then yes but definitely at this point i'm gonna hold judgment for her skills right now i'm at 50 50 at this point whether um her skill set is going to be good or not uh, I'm leaning towards the lower half of the 50%. But again, it's going to be 50-50 depending on how her full skill skills are going to be revealed. So that is it, guys. Those are my thoughts for her skills. So what do you think of her skills? Will she be a, a must-pull for you? Will she be a skip for now? Um, but again... Uh, the design again is is on par she has a eye patch here and the design for her she's already i think in in an exosuit um partially partially a a look where in it's a swimsuit but she does have her skin which is a swimsuit as well so for those who are going to be getting her probably you're you're mostly going to be fans of Maux here I'm actually a fan of Mouse here as well, so I hope that they have built her in a way wherein the investment will be justified in terms if we are going to pull for her. So that is it, guys. Those are my thoughts. Again, Guardians, take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.